Hi everyone, it's Neve here. I'm going to do a flip through of my um, large craft journal, which I've been promising for a little while and I haven't quite got to. So this is a piece of work I had in a junk journal that fell out that I really liked. So I chucked it on the front, lots of mic making and I think this is paper artsy stamp. A lot of this journal is faces, which I really loved. Um, and it's something I've been continuing on with. Not necessarily me drawing them, but um, me practicing um, shading them, painting them and so on. So this is actually a scrap effects um, collage rice paper, which I've stuck into the journal and painted over. So I really like having the collage rice papers because they give me a model that I can practice with that I don't have to worry about the drawing as well. Um, stencils and stenciling is from Stencil Girl. Um, another technique that I use a lot, if you've been watching my channel, is using stamps to do the same. So these are both Dina Wakely stamps. And she does quite large stamps, which I love. Um, they're usually partial stamps, so quite a lot of her stamps don't actually have hair on them. So it gives me an opportunity to practice drawing in hair and extending the, the image, both upwards and down, to put the shoulders in. Same with this one, um, putting the body in. Um, so I have a lot of fun with that. The backgrounds have been done with gloss sprays, which again give that lovely translucent. Um, and the craft paper is actually really good for stamping on. So these are actually stamped directly onto the page. You don't see me do that often in my journals, but when it comes to the craft paper, I'm quite happy to stamp on it. This is look at faces in a different way using stencil, not st yeah, stencils to do the faces and have the um, stenciling around. It's playing with a different colour palette for me, um, using the greens, a little bit of gloss spray in the background as well. This one, <laughs> um, you've probably seen the video of it, was a bit of a disaster. It was going all sorts of places and I ended up making it into this Mother Earth thing. These two pages aren't necessarily my favourites, but with both of them, I came away with lessons. This one was lots of layering up of gloss sprays and so on and doing some doodling over the top. This page um, I loved. It was inspired by a website called Post Secret, um, where people send in postcards with their deepest, darkest secrets on them. Um, and down the bottom of it, it's got this gorgeous quote, everyone has a secret that could break your heart, which we all do. So I wrote my secrets in the background in my really scribbly writing, did my cutouts. So you could see the secrets, but you couldn't read the secrets. And then I used all these face stencils from um, Stencil Girl to go around the outside because it really related to the um, quote as well. So I really love the, the contrast of that page. This is another Dina Wakeley stamp, which again, I've extended. I've done the background. I was practicing painting with the gloss sprays to give a bit of a shimmery background. You can sort of see that um, extending the body. This is by the lovely, uh, um, stenciled by the lovely Megan Quinlan, um, which I finally got my hands on, her beautiful washi tape. So I was playing around with her stencils. Um, I actually did this page upside down <laughs> in my journal, which is why it's a flip page. And then I cut it out so I could make it into this page. So again, use some washi tape. I used inspiration of the washi tape to do the colors in the background um, to create this page. And again, some more of her gorgeous um, little um, creatures or stencils here with her stenciling of her journal piece in the background. I was having fun with that. This is um, from Scrap FX, this big stamp in the background. Um, Claire Stead stencils and the amazing Michelle Logan's um, beautiful collaged um, girls in the background. So it was just a bit of a throw them all together and have fun with it. This page is another rice paper from Natalie May. Um, had some gorgeous colours in it, so I wanted to cut it out and extend it on the page. You can see sort of the stenciling in the background. I've used the same sorts of colours. This is the Dina Wakely stamps again. Three small half faces, which I've extended and created into bodies, which I really liked. Um, and I really liked it sort of echoed myself and my two children, one of which who's only six years old and is pretty much that height on me. So she's catching up quickly. Another um, page is one of my favorites. Again, it's a rice paper from Natalie May. Um, drawing over it, painting with the gloss sprays. And I was loving just the um, 
translucency I was getting from that and the drips and the mess. Um, I just really appreciate it doing some sketching over the top with the Spiller or pencil. This is a different rice paper from Scrap FX. Um, and again, going back to my usuals of colouring, doing my weird and random colouring. So you can see I'm trying to do more realistic colouring and still playing around with my random colouring, which I quite enjoy. This is another um, rice paper from Natalie May. So I'll put the links in the description box below. She's got a brand new lot out, which I've been having fun with recently too. Um, but again, just painting over the top, sort of trying to blend it into the page. This has rice papers in the background, this big colour wheel, and I've actually stenciled over the top. So you've sort of got this focal image um, with the light from within. So you can see how I've been really playing with faces a lot in this one. This page is really important to me. Um, this page I created, I have not been travelling well over the last six, probably 12 months really, but in the last six months mentally. Um, I've been really struggling um, and this was a make, uh, this day was sort of make or break um, and it was a day I actually rang up the doctor um, to, to ask for more help to be put back on medication and so on. Um, usually I am really, really good. I can sort of, and this was good when I went to the doctor because they sort of recognised that I obviously know myself well enough to know that I needed help before I really needed help, um, which is, that's all good. Um, but I, I knew I wasn't right because I just did not want to create. I was really having to force myself to come in here and create. Um, so I knew something wasn't right. And even still to this day, I'm creating more than I was, but I'm certainly not where I, I used to be. So it's still a work in progress, but it's much better than it was. And this page to me just really represents that it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to get help. And it's good that you know yourself that when you need help, you need to go and get it. This fit face itself is a stencil from Stencil Girl. Obviously playing around with my colouring and the quote obviously is really important to me too. So the combination of two. Um, this is a really important page. I needed to create it. Um, it represented exactly how I was feeling on the day um, and how I wanted to feel in the future. So that's why it's there. This page was inspired by the lovely Clara Stead. She was doing lots of throwing, well, she always does lots of throwing bows. I love Claire's um, colours. Um, so I wouldn't have a play with it too. Um, don't ever be afraid to show your true colours. So I, um, I thought that was really important. This page was a really, really simple collage. This came from the front of a Womankind magazine. Um, and you're a golden thing in this heavy, heavy world. This is happening. This page was in response to what was happening in my life, what was happening in the world, what was happening with laws being changed in other places that, you know, for me, you know, brings up lots of emotions. So, um, yeah, I, I did this page and that's why I art journal to get stuff off my chest. This page is actually stuck in. It's one I teach, I teach, um, high school at the moment I teach a group of um, anxious disinterested disengaged um, girls and one of the things we do each week is do um, as part of our literacy uh, literacy sort of mindfulness go where we do some art journaling as well because a lot of them are very creative and they need outlets to express themselves in a different way because writing reading isn't necessarily their strong points so I was teaching them how to draw faces um, and I had this floating around so I decided just to stick it into my journal. This is playing around with stencils again from Stencil Girl. You can see in this book a lot it's about you know creating the face and then creating the bodies to go with it which I really like. This page was done as a sort of echo of this page um, for the Stencil Girl blog. Um, instead of having cut out I've actually stenciled over the top so same sort of process but if you're not great with actually cutting stuff out you can stencil over the top instead so um, same process I've journaled in the background but instead of cutting it out I've used masks and stenciled over so it's still hidden the journaling but the journaling is still there again this is another Dina Wakeley face painted over using my acrylic paints this is stamps again um, but using gloss sprays instead so you've got a bit of a shinier surface it's very matte and it's very shiny in between Again, inspired by 
Claire's Beautiful Rainbows. Um, she's doing something with um, doing it through circles, which I did on this page, but I had a load of paint left over, so I did this background. So just painting off my backgrounds, which I really loved. This is actually a napkin um, my mum had for a dinner party, which I pinched, which was for a... Um, Hello, sorry I was interrupted by the phone call from my mother just to check stuff out. So she obviously knew I was talking about her napkins. So yes, this is painting over napkins with the rainbow background. Um, this is playing with some different stamps. These are the ones from um, Danielle Mack through Stampers Anonymous. And I was trying with different skin tones. So um, I'm not great at realistic skin tones. Obviously, I tend to go for a paler skin tones. I was trying with some darker skin tones. Work in progress. This is a really, really simple page. Um, just with the background, with writing and some scribbling over a, um image from Womankind magazine. This is another Womankind magazine, which I've done some journaling over. This strip is collage paper, which I've then extended the image out. It's a technique that I used to do a lot when I was traveling and doing travel journals. I'd cut something out of a um, travel magazine, just a small strip, and then I'd try and extend it out and match colors. So it's a, a fun technique to do. Um, doing a magazine collage, because something quick and easy to do. This again, you can sort of see where the collage tissue is and then I've extended it out tried to match the colors um, quick bit of stenciling in the background same with this one this one of my favorites I have to say those um, faces all came from the same sheet of collage tissue so there was four in it things called strength by numbers by Natalie May um, but I just loved how this turned out and then I did a little bit of a um, butterfly in her hair as a bit of a clip this is um, some of the new stamps from Dina Wakeley, which I was playing around with. I love this image. And again, it just fitted in beautifully with the um, faces, bodies that I was doing. This page was quite an uninspired page. I just needed to do something. I didn't know what to do. Again, my head wasn't quite in it, but I had this double image. Um, so I decided to just do lots of writing and um, didn't have anything really to write about. So I just wrote quotes all over the page. This, again, you could see I was playing the same sort of thing, um, using some of the um, ledger paper in the background. This is inspired by um, uh, Megan Quinlan page on Ranger. So quite often, if I'm not feeling enthusiastic and I just know I, know I need to make something to empty my brain, I will go and have a look at a tutorial or something like that to have a go. This is my tutorial I did for the new Dina Wakeley stamps so making lots of windows with the circle stamps um which is fun to do if you want to try a cut page but don't want to cut something easy cutting circles out is pretty good this is my recent video that just went up doing an abstract background again using a stamped image to create my my thing here this was using again stamped images to make the faces and extend them out and doing a little bit of stenciling over the top again crazy colors because i like crazy colors this is a coloured um, rice paper from Natalie May. Um, I wasn't particularly happy with the colours I chose in the end, but it is what it is. A bit of doodling over the top. This page is using distress crayons um, and using an image from Lucy Campano, who popped it up and said, oh, I've drawn this, I want people to use it. Um, it's a free download, so I printed it out to use in my journal. This page was obviously inspired by Klimt's Tree of Life. Um, it was done, it was the 50th anniversary of the opening of my old high school. And we went back, they had sort of an open day, took the kids there, which they loved, and they had a paint and sit for kids, which they created something similar to this. And they were having so much fun. And when I came home, I wanted to create my own version of it. So um, lots of bright, happy colours. Glitter in my journal was messy, but it was fun. This page, again, these faces are from Scrap FX. They're a collage tissue. So I cut the faces out, created the bodies for them. Um, to finish off my journal. So that is a quick trip through my latest completed journal. Lots of favorite pages in here, some unfavorite pages that I'm not particularly happy with, but you know, that's the way journals are. And it's been really fun 
sort of keeping this journal, I suppose, a little bit more consistent with just faces or figures in it, um, which is something I haven't done before. Um, and I've, I've enjoyed having sort of a journal to do that and have a practice of that. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.